Hey guys, what is up the new cubist here? Welcome to episode 50 of my Minecraft survival let's play. So it's the 50th episode, halfway to 100. Um, in episode 49 and 48 we have been constructing this barn. We are done with that. No more barns for uh, a while at least, but at least we can, uh, you know, know we can get some pigs and stuff and throw those in there eventually, but not in this episode. This is going to be a special episode. It's episode 50. So I'm going to clear out all these barrels of a... Uh, like the stuff that they have, and I'm going to put it back in our actual chest storage area in our house. Because uh, I don't want things like strewn about. You know, I have those piles of barrels, but they serve a purpose, and that is not their purpose. They're to look good. Alright, so a little explaining. How is this going to be a special episode? Um, well, I'm going to take a few basics with me, but beyond that, we're literally just going to be going out into the wilderness. And we're going to be starting a whole new area of our world. Um, so I decided to do this because, first of all, this area is already very evolved. It looks nice. I, I'm not going to not go over here again. It's nothing like that. But I actually want to go in a new part of the world, first of all, because it'll be extremely fun for you guys to watch and extremely fun for me. Um, but we're going to start like a new little uh, base. So it's going to be way, way over in this direction. If you remember way earlier in the series, if you've watched every episode, there's a nice flower forest over in this direction. I may have to go back to that video to find it. Um, but what I'm going to do between now and when I cut the footage back on is travel in this direction. I don't want to film it. I don't want the majority of this episode to be walking all the way to where I'm going to start doing stuff. I want to film when I get there. But I promise you're not missing anything. I have to run, I think, like 5,000 blocks in this direction. So it may have been a mistake only bringing six steak. Um, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Um, but yes, we're going to go all the way over there. So I'll meet you guys once we've found the flower forest. It should be... Uh, quite the journey indeed. Alright, well I have finally found it after a long time of searching and reading through the comments on one of my older episodes. So when I say like, can you comment the coordinates, it really does help. So thank you to the people who did that. So I slept in a village bed and uh, you know, it, it, it's pretty early in the day. I'm trying to get enough wool to make a bed. Um, you know, I want to be able to get a nice source of food so maybe not kill all the cows, but kill some. Um, I don't plan on staying over here for like... I don't, I don't think this is like a next season of a uh, of like the the let's play series but I want it to be I don't know a special episode because it's been so long um, there's been 50 episodes so I'm gonna make this one a little bit longer than usual and it's gonna be in a new biome so I did find the flower forest which is good um, back over here I was gonna show you I, I don't know why I started running the wrong direction but there's blue orchids um, which are my flower and uh, I've never mentioned this, but I have merchandise in the description below if you guys are interested in buying anything to support me or you just want uh, a shirt or something. But I understand, times are tough right now, so don't do it right now. But maybe in the future. Um, there's lots of blue orchids, but it's cool that we found a nice little swamp right here. Uh, but yes, this is not where I wanted to be. This biome is ugly. It looks gross. There are bobs, though. However, I want to be in the flower forest because I never really... I guess this is a newer biome, but I've never really found one in my survival world before this. So it's going to be an interesting place to build a house just because of all the flowers. Like, I mean, there's tons. And uh, there's a creeper down in here. So I survived. I found... I, I made some bread in a village I had found. And I probably should have filmed it, but I, I just ate all the bread. So my hunger is still doing okay. We don't really have a whole ton, though. Really at all. I didn't really collect anything. Sleeping in that bed was pretty much the end of it. Um, but yeah, these biomes are super cool. I really think so. There is a nice hole right there. We will keep that in mind. That's a nice hole. It could have some good loot at the bottom. Um, there's, man, there's a bunch of cool caves around here. Maybe our house should be around here, but I remember there was a specific part of this flower forest. What is that noise? What was that? It sounded like an elephant. That's not good. Okay, well, let's run away from that. Yes, it was over here. And look, there's already a bee. So we, we, maybe we could finally bring back some full beehives. Uh, but we don't have a silk touch pickaxe with us. So it kind of makes this a little bit more difficult. Um, unless, no, I think you can use a campfire and you can break it. No, I think it'll just remove it. But this was the area that I was very interested in. Um, because it reminds me of how the old generation in Minecraft was. Um, it was just absolutely insane. So hopefully you guys think this looks pretty cool. I don't know. I, I think... I. I've, for me personally, I think it looks pretty awesome, um, but I want to make some sort of like hanging base or something, something to that tune. I'm not really sure, uh, but it'll be an interesting place for a house nonetheless. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a good Saturday. Uh, crazy times right now out in the world, uh, but hopefully everyone's doing the best that they can do. Uh, that's pretty much all you can do. Um, but yeah, 
Thank you for choosing to watch me. I know you, you, you could watch a lot of other people out there, uh, but you chose me. So let's start to get some coal. I think that's a good idea. Um, now, so you guys know on the thumbnail, so there's never any text or anything. Um, even though this is episode 50, I don't want to stray away from that. So I may put some text, like make it with some blocks and say like movie or something. Because I want it to be like, like a longer episode. I'm not saying like three hours, but maybe like an hour or so. Or uh, two hours, something like that. Because um, these, these big episodes are always fun. They always seem to do pretty well. People like to watch, you know, a lot. And it's fun because you get to see me start like a new part of my world. So I'm getting iron, of course. I mean, it's just something we're going to need at some point. We're going to need some iron for at least something. So I'm just gathering a little bit. I don't want to go too deep into caves right now. Um, we still do have our mending tools. We have our good armor. I still have my respiration helmet on, but that's okay. Um, mainly, I just needed to get some stones. So let me gather a little bit here. It is kind of fun, you know, starting a new area and not having to use wooden tools. Because, did you hear that? I just heard a villager. It was like over in this direction. I don't know. You guys had to have heard that too, right? Is it over here? I guess not. Okay, well, there's iron. So we'll at least collect the iron. So we looked for the villager. We got iron. So you'll always get rewarded for your efforts, I guess. I don't want to live in a cave. Um, but we need some sort of temporary housing. Um, albeit, I don't think I want it to be a cave. I think that's like the worst option. Uh, but I do need some wood because I need to make a crafting table. Our first crafting table of the new area. So I'll let you guys name this area because, I mean, I don't I don't have a name or anything. Uh, but I really just need to cook this mutton so I can run and jump. And then I can also make another furnace to cook the steak too. So we could, you know, we're going to go against the grain. We're going to put one off to the side. And, uh, oh, that's not the right. Okay, you know what? Then we're going to go against the grain twofold. We're going to put a furnace on this side. And then, you know what, it, it, just because, you know, I, I'm the kind of person that likes to have, uh, you know, fancy builds, look, we'll do something like this. Look at this. Um, I don't know if this will look weird. Actually, you know what, it's going to look very weird, but we're going to do it anyways. And we're going to break these furnaces. That's right. We're just going to ruin these furnaces day. And look, we're just going to put them right like that. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so maybe I shouldn't focus on that. But it is it is fun to do do little things like this, guys. You gotta understand. You gotta have fun with the game. You can't just do it the same way every time, because that's how you get burned out. That's how you get bored of any video game. You just you find the best way to do things and you keep doing them. That's my problem with games. I always figure them out pretty quickly, and then I end up just doing it like the easiest way. You know, like the easiest way to play Minecraft. You know, make a wooden pickaxe. Don't make any other wooden tools, and then go mine immediately. Uh, but obviously, in this case, you know, we already have the best of the best. But that's not the point of this. So it looks like it's so dark under here that mobs can spawn. <laughs> so we have we have a skeleton in the middle of the day spawned here. But this whole entire area just looks absolutely beautiful. Like, I mean, this, this biome is like the coolest biome, bar none. Changed my mind. Uh, besides maybe from the Mesa biome. But like, look, there's a little floating island. I don't know. I just really want to make a floating house off this thing. But maybe that's not a, maybe that's not a smart, you know, beginner goal. I don't, I don't think it is, though. Uh, I, I don't know if it'll matter, but I need to go eat some food and then we need to go find some sheep because if we can't sleep and set our spawn point here um, We're a little bit far away about 5,000 blocks away from our base So it would be stupid of us to not make a bed. So we're gonna go find those sheep. I foolishly killed one with my sword um, And you know I got a good bit of mutton, but I didn't I didn't think about the the repercussions of what I was doing you know, so I'm going to go over here and... Oh, okay. Well, there's a sheep right here. Uh, we got one wool. That's okay. Do you have wool for sale? No, you have pumpkins, yellow dice. See, you never have anything good, dude. That That's my problem with these guys. They never have anything good. We'll leave them alone. We won't kill them. Uh, but they do really never have... Oh, okay. Well, that one gave us enough just by itself. Well, thank you, Mr. Sheep. I appreciate it so much. Your donation to make this movie a good one. I wish I could like denote there's you know that this is like a special episode, but it's Im it's impossible with the style of doing these. But, man, sheep just look weird without their wool. They're so, ugh. They look like they look like a Steve almost, just like you know like hands and knees walking. I don't know, it just looks weird. So there's a beehive up there, which is good, but like I said, I don't have silk touch, so I don't think I can get it. Even if I have a campfire, if I break it with an axe, I think it just breaks it. So maybe eventually, I mean, yeah, we're gonna be able to come back to this after this episode. Um, but we'll definitely, I'll definitely, like, go over there, and, um, I don't know. 
what I'm trying to say. We'll get Silk Touch and then get all those. Okay, so I'm going to do a little time lapse. What I'm going to do now is collect a bunch of trees. Uh, we have 51 wood when I start the time lapse. Let's see how much we end up with. Okay, so we had a nice little time lapse. I hope you guys are enjoying those. Um, I got a lot of stuff over here, as you could tell. Uh, but, but yeah, we're going to try to collect all this stuff. We'll just sleep on this hill. I really don't. I don't think it matters too much. We don't have a house built or anything. Um, so for right now, we'll just we'll just do everything uh, just kind of normal. We'll just sleep right here on the ground. It'll be okay. Uh, it looks like you grew your wool back. That's a good thing. It's good to see you, know, you have your wool back. It's very nice. Uh, now, hopefully, there's just a ton of saplings and stuff dropping because I don't want to, like, deforest the whole area and not, like, plant anything back. Um, especially since I'm not going to be here permanently. But I'm still going to put a lot of effort into the builds here. I want to build, like, a nice oak, a nice oak fortress type deal. Not a house. I'm tired of building just houses, okay? I want to build, like, some sort of, not like a fortress, but like an oak. I don't know. I've built one in the past on a tutorial. Um, it actually was a really cool video, and it did super well. It was like a weird-looking, like a castle almost, okay? Think of like a four-walled castle, like your standard, like, just square castle, but made uh, with oak materials and uh, leaves and stuff like that. I don't know. I thought it was a pretty cool base. We'll try to do something like that, um, but keep in mind, it requires an absolute metric ton of wood. So let me just keep collecting a little bit more off-camera, and then I, and I'm also collecting birch because I'm not really sure if I'm going to use... Um, one or the other more um, but yeah I will be back in just a little bit okay I think I have enough um, and I also want to try something there's a beehive also up here right here um, so there's two really close and it looks like this one's full so I want to try to get a few bottles you know and get some of the bottled honey stuff because I'm pretty sure that's a good source of food and I'll build a little bit of a farm or something um, but I definitely want to get all these saplings that are dropping because man there's gonna be a ton over here um, looks like there's some spruce right there. Not spruce. <laughs> I'm so used to spruce saplings. Birch saplings over there. Okay, so there's not too much that I didn't miss. Or that I did miss. Um, but let's go grab a little bit of sand. It looks like there's a river or something over here. But yeah, this really is a beautiful area. I almost wish this this was where my Let's Play had started. Um, but nothing says that I can't move over here. So if we build a better area over here than what we have at home. I mean, heck, I have no problem just coming over here. Um, except, you know, moving everything would be kind of a pain, so maybe not, because it's a little bit far away. But I want to make a railroad between this area and uh, my previous area. And if you could have saw, I, I, I put my finger down and I was like, yeah, we're going to make a railroad. So it's going to be really cool. Um, and when I say make a railroad, I'm not just talking about placing tracks on the ground. Um, I want to make a proper railroad, like a suspended railroad type of thing. Um, so that might be a little overzealous, because that would take ages to uh, build. But you know what? I think that's what I'm going to try to go for. We're trying to go for some pretty grandose things here. And hopefully they turn out okay. Okay, so we'll build some chests. I want to put the chests somewhere more semi-permanent than where we have them. So let's start storing our materials for right now over here. Because um, this will just make everything a little bit easier if we have like an area where our stuff is. And uh, we'll break that out. And we can honestly just throw some stairs there. I really don't care. I think that looks fine. And now we have uh, some storage for some stuff. We just need to build a little bit of fence in front of that. I didn't put up any of the stuff though, so let me do that. So we could put all the wood into one chest like this. We can do plant materials, stuff that's like plant-ish. And then this I consider like wood. This would be plant stuff. This would be wood. And then everything else can just go in here because there's not gonna be a whole ton of like stuff we get. We're mainly just gonna be collecting things to build. Um, and then obviously maybe a little animal farm or something of the sort. Um, but we'll, I guess we can leave this little thing over here. It doesn't hurt anything. So we'll just leave that there. But I wanted to make sure I get all my food. It's going to be interesting. I'm not totally sure how I'm going to accomplish my goal here of making a hanging house. Um, but it should be interesting. But maybe instead of that, like I said, I'm going to do a little, uh, a little basic I was talking about. So to do so, we're going to need a few things. Where's my plant chest? Okay. So we're going to need a pretty good bit of leaves. Like three stacks is perfect. 
Um, we're going to need a ton of oak wood. We actually don't have near enough oak wood. Um, but you know what? For now, we'll just leave it like that and see see what we can accomplish. So we need quite a big area. I'm trying to figure out the best spot for this. Because if we look at this area from over on top of a little hill, like over here, you can see that there's actually much more to this place than just this one little indention. Um, it goes like all the way over there, and it looks just absolutely beautiful. So I kind of want to build it like right around here. I remember my first beehive was right over there, and I just straight broke it. And the bees attacked me. I didn't get anything, so that was kind of a failure, but it's okay. I also realized now I did not throw my sand into a furnace, so it's just kind of sitting there. Um, but yeah, I don't think wood cutting is the most fun thing to watch. Uh, but this is a movie, okay? You know, m movies have parts that are boring to some people and exciting to others. So maybe this is a part that you like. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, man. He set me on fire, too. Dude, you you butthead. That's mean. You can't set other people on fire. You should know that. That's illegal. It's very illegal. But yeah, hopefully by clearing out this area of trees, we'll have enough wood just to finish this in one go. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we need to put some torches down there. I, I knew things could spawn, but I didn't think like a whole cluster of mobs would spawn. Oh my god. Okay, Creeper, you're going to get in this water. I, I don't want any chance of you exploding this fire force. Nope. Okay, well, you know what? You're you're a freaking meanie, okay? No one likes you. You're you're mean. Okay, we'll fill this in with oak wood. And trust me, I, 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 I will make it fit. I will make it fit. So, again, this area, I'm going to try... Okay, <laughs> <laughs> These things didn't die. All right. I thought you were dead, but you're not. It's kind of kind of tricky to fight things in a flower forest, though. Okay, nothing can spawn over there now. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll try to make this whole area look really good. Um, there's like little certain things I think I can do. Like, do you see what I'm doing here? I don't know what this is, but it's not something I would normally think to do. So maybe it looks good. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. We'll figure it out together. So unfortunately, some of these flowers are going to have to go. Um, but I want to make this flower castle. Not like a flower castle. I'm not sure. This is going to be an interesting build. I'm going to put it that way. Because I've never done anything even close to this. So I realize now how much more wood I'm going to need for what I just thought of in my head. So give me uh, like 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I got everything. And then I just discovered just a nice little area over here. Like a nice little lagoon type deal. Uh, but basically, this flower forest is giant. It, I don't know if this is normal, like for them to be this big. I genuinely have no idea. But they are pretty big, uh, from what I've seen so far. So to build a castle, I think the first thing we're gonna have to do is flatten out a little bit of this area, which, as you can see, is very easy with efficiency five. Like, do you see this? Not to mention all the flowers we're getting and such. Like, it's really not that hard to make an area flat with efficiency five. I'm not going to make it like totally flat, but I'm going to like that. And then we'll just break the last remaining things. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to break the flowers for now. I'm going to be putting them back, of course. I'm not going to. This is a flower forest. I'm not going to come to the flower forest, remove all the flowers. Trust me. That would be kind of uh, kind of pointless, I guess. Um, so we'll throw like dirt into here. We need a whole chest for just flowers, though. You know what? This this will do, actually. So I'll put up everything that's living. I know I would grabbed all those wood materials. Man, that's a bone. Okay. All right. So I'm, what I'm going to do now, this is going to be kind of interesting to watch. I'm going to clear out every little every little flower. Not in this whole area, but on this like layer right here. You guys will see soon. But hopefully I'm getting some new types of flowers, it looks like. And uh, that is helpful because, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd like to make different colored objects, you know. So, uh, I'm sure it'll serve some purpose in the future, too, that we came over here and built this little area. Now, these flowers aren't as dense over here. These are some white ones. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. We're just going to have to get all of these, because what I want to do is, like, surround the, the thing I'm thinking of. I keep saying the thing I'm thinking of. It keeps changing. It's like, you know, an ever-evolving idea in my head. So hopefully it's not too confusing for you guys. But it will be a pretty cool looking base. I will say that. I'll put that out there right now. It's going to be the best flower base you ever... It's not a flower base though. It's like... It's going to have some nice like plants around it. But it's the theme isn't flowers. Uh, we are in a flower forest. <laughs> so maybe a little bit. Uh, but it's not totally supposed to just be that. 
It's kind of satisfying to watch this, right? Because you get to see you get to see me mold this area into what I want it to be. Did I pick up my bed after I'd slept in it? I don't think I had. I think it's still on this hill over here next to the crafting table. Oh, woo wee! Well, we got to get back over there before it becomes night and we uh, get attacked by random things. So let's see where, where, where. Because you know, there's a point where you know you like I have everything in that area over there. So when I want to do something, I just grab the materials and do it. Um, oh no, I probably put the bed up. I don't even, it's not over here. Oh man. Okay, we gotta get back to these chests quick. I don't care if I fall. Where are my chests? Where's my bed? Where did I put it? Where? Where? Come on, there it is. Okay. So this is my little temporary sleeping quarters. It's a very rudimentary sleeping quarters area, but you know what? It works, I guess. We should probably make it look a little better. It just, it's just very absent. That that's the word I'd use to describe it, because there's just nothing here. It's just it's just a blank. Okay, let's put all the flowers up, because God, we have so many flowers. Oh wow. Okay. Well, we won't have trouble with bees anymore, I guess. I'm gonna take everything that isn't a flower out of here, because I really just want a flower chest. Um, this can be this stuff can go in there. Dirt can go in here, and then this can be the plant chest. Okay, that's much better. So I promise I won't do too much organizing on camera, but I do want the area to at least look good-ish. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be super, super uh, all over the place. So let's make a few sticks here. I say a few sticks, but we're going to need a lot of these materials in the future. So I'm not too worried about over making anything. We're going to make a bunch of fence. That's not nearly enough for what we're going to do eventually. But you know what? For right now, it'll be okay. Uh, we have some cobblestone, which is good. Um, so this, I want this theme. I want the theme of this area to be like uh, I don't really know. I just want it to be like how Minecraft used to be. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, um, like very very basic things, like nothing. I don't know, like just basic blocks. Not a whole lot of texturing, I guess. I don't know, but I, because I still want to do texturing, but I want this area to have like an old school like alpha Minecraft theme, if that makes any sense. I know. A bunch of you probably did not start playing back way then, um, but then again, I'm sure there's some of you who did, and uh, for those of you who did, maybe you'll appreciate how this area looks more than like the, just the, the average person watching. Um, okay, let's see. See what I mean? It's just kind of like a little nature-themed-ish area, and to get in and out, we'll just use something as simple as like a fence gate. I really don't think anything more complicated is needed. So we'll just put a little fence gate right there. Uh, this area, that, that looks a little weird that it's, you know. Well, actually, you know what would we'll be less weird is if I made this go down one. And then the inside of this base, ah, yes. You see, I get inspiration from my mistakes. A good way to do to go about things. You get inspiration from your mistakes. And then we got to clear out this layer. Which this shovel really I should have I shouldn't have brought it. It's too fast. So when you try to like break out the floor of a house or something, you gotta be very careful and not be aiming at the blocks under what you're trying to dig, because they will just instantly just they just explode, dig. Okay, so we'll use cobblestone slabs in here just to save resources, because we don't have that much anymore. It's not like we dug a fifty by fifty quarry and then we're doing this. That was in the past, okay. Do you see it was in the past? Okay. Nice. So we have this little area. We don't have any torches, but we do have coal somewhere. So let's get to it. My pinky is like, I can't even feel my pinky. I just pushed on my pinky to hold down shift and I couldn't feel it. Hold on, give you a second. Let me redo my circulation. Okay, it's tingling now. You know when you know when something goes numb and then it like tingles? You know what I mean? Like it, I don't know, that probably doesn't make much sense. Actually, you know what, I think it does make sense. Everyone gets that feeling. You know, when you, when you lose blood flow to an area and then it tingles when it comes back? I think that's pretty standard amongst humans, at least. You know, for those of you who aren't human. Um, so we'll build a little bit of like an indention in here and we can add some things in here. This is not the main base, but we need to have a base of operations while building the main base. Yes, it's that big of a base. So, to do that, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to break out this area like this far back because I accidentally broke another one. And then uh, we can go in the wall right here. We can put some chest storage in here. It's really up to whoever. Okay, finishing up what I started and uh, finished on camera. We made the area a little bit bigger uh, than I had first forecasted it to be. So it's a little bit smaller. 
Um, and then, you know what, to get up to there, all you have to do is just put some slabs down. Just a basic base, guys. I'm trying to go for, like, an alpha theme. Maybe I should have put an alpha texture pack on or something like that. I don't know. I wasn't really thinking about it. Uh, but yes, back to what we were doing. We were clearing out this whole area. Um, I know it seems daunting at first, overwhelming to conquer a new area of your world. But if you go with new tools, really it doesn't take a whole lot of time from my experience. Like with the jungle area, that one was so close that it doesn't really matter. But this one is so far away, I can't just go back over there. Like, if I were to lose all my stuff, it's gone. Because I, I can't... I mean, actually, the, the chunks wouldn't be loaded, but traveling 5,000 blocks, it took like 20 minutes. And there's no way every time I die, I'm going to walk 20 minutes. But that's why I have a bed. So again, establish, establishing a new norm. Our inventory is straight packed. Because there's so many full variety of flowers that it just fills up your inventory extremely quickly. And I already see something to make this entire base look better. See what I mean? An alpha themed base. I think that's actually pretty dope. Um, we have an extra crafting table. We'll put that up there. Uh, which means we need to make two more. So let's make two more. I know it doesn't... Oh! I know it doesn't mean... It doesn't need to be four, but it looks good. You know, it looks like a giant crafting table. Okay, so wood can go in here. Obviously, this is our wood chest. Now, flowers. This is what's filling and clogging my inventory. Um, okay, so now I actually need the wood, which we don't have that much now that we built this little tiny base. You see how much wood we... There has to be more wood. I feel like I collected way more than this. Nope, there's not. Okay. <laughs> so let's go get some more. <laughs> oh, that's not supposed to be there. Let's go get some more wood because I need a ton more. I hate mining these big trees out, so I'm just ignoring them. Uh, but little trees are fair game. So give me a little bit. Let me mine some trees. Okay, so that creepy noise just, just gave me an idea. And I have no idea why a sound gave me an idea. Don't ask me. If I knew the answer, I would, I would just tell you. Um, but what I'm going to do is, you know how we established those nice planters on the other part of our uh, of our Let's Play world? I want to do the same sort of thing here, but we have oak materials, which means we can do oak trap doors, uh, which are beautiful. They, again, trap doors, will, they will literally kill your wood supply. We have 52 now after all that. Um, and the great thing about oak trees is they'll actually grow when they're right next to other oak tree saplings. I have no earthly idea why that is. Uh, but for some reason, it seems like oak is the only kind of uh, tree that'll do that. But, okay, so our base is going to be over here. We probably want to build this area to be where the planters are. And it's funny because the trees that are right next to my house, I just haven't dug. So let me get these going. But we did get a good bit of wood. Uh, I don't know how much more we got because I didn't mine that long before this idea occurred to me. Um, but we should make some sort of planter for trees. Um, and it's cool because you don't actually need that big of an area for this. Um, really at all. So I'm going to clear out the flowers just like immediately around here. And what I'm going to do, guys, because this is this is what I was trying to say with the flowers. We will always put the flowers back. But what I'm going to end up doing is making uh, making them surround our base, you know, instead of being like, you know, in our way. Because that looks fine. That looks, that looks perfect fine. It doesn't matter. This tree was hiding. With, it was trying to blend in with the dirt. It was a camouflage tree. Um, okay, so we have that little area. So what I'm going to do with the planters, I know I keep talking about these planters and I haven't done anything. So I'm going to build them up to be too high, like this, and then they'll be four wide, okay? Something like this, and then we'll build this back a little bit. We got to sleep pretty quickly here so we don't die. But we could break out a little bit of this area, just if we want everything to fit together better. But do you see why I did that terraforming now? See how all the grass is basically grown? So now that area just looks completely natural um, while we were accomplishing other things in this area. So slowly but surely. Why does the respawn point get set every time I sleep? It says respawn point set, but I had already slept. No, no, I moved the bed, didn't I? Maybe? I don't know. Did I move the bed? I can't remember now, but I think I might have. Um, so we're going to extend this area a little bit. It's funny because I dug it out previously, but now we're going to fill it in. You can always change any part about your world. Although it is a lot easier. You know, I keep saying you can always change. It's a lot easier when you have, like, efficiency five tools, though. So uh, take that with a grain of salt for sure. Uh, so I don't want this to look like it's connected to the house. So we'll move it right there. And then we will put some fence out front like this. 
just to, just to kind of denote this is a little area um, at least for the base it doesn't need to be solid fence it, it doesn't actually serve a purpose a big hint about fence um, and yeah we'll do something like this oh that's not fence that's not fence at all okay there we go uh, so now we have a nice little area right here nice little area right here and then we can kind of just encase this house it really you don't you don't want to use all like just solid fence first of all it just takes so much resources if you're actually trying to block it you shouldn't be using that anyways so I'm not sure what these planters are going to look like exactly but again I'm trying to go for a very basic structure here because um, I feel like over time builds have gotten like more realistic looking and less minecraft looking if that makes any amount of sense I just feel like builds started to go more towards realism and less towards like fantasy fun like I mean you're in Minecraft you don't have to build like a house with a roof and all that stuff you don't need a roof realistically in real life you need a roof but again the beauty of Minecraft so this is like I don't know how many trees uh, it's four by one two three four five six seven eight so it's like 36 saplings or so um, which is probably more than enough and these will literally all grow exactly next to each other over time I honestly don't understand why that why that is why these trees do not check for anything around them at least oak wood is it seems like if there's a flower there right they won't grow but if there's like other oak saplings it's like oh you're my friend I can grow so we'll make a nice planter over here um, we don't have any food source I want to get some cows but we need a little bit of a wheat farm going so we don't have <laughs> this is what I was talking about the iron see I don't have a hoe at all none um, there's no way to make one aside from a little bit of wood or a little bit of iron sorry we don't have to go back that far but we do have to make an iron tool which is okay it's not a big deal um, I did bring a water bucket for good reason water is you know something you're always going to need pretty much uh, let me clean up my inventory hold on okay so upon inspecting my inventory I have a grand total and this is kind of sad a grand total of three seeds <laughs> so we'll have to start farming a little slow um, see, we already have two tree grows. See, that's a good thing. If you put so many saplings, I mean, they'll just grow so quickly. So I guess we do kind of need to run around and find some seeds. We don't need a whole ton, though, but it's kind of tricky in this biome to find seeds because there's just only flowers. I think, like, normally where it would spawn uh, grass is where it spawns flowers. Something like that. Uh, but if we run around... Oh, we're actually... Having, wait, does fortune... Does fortune allow you to get more seeds? I don't think so, right? Nah, that see, I don't think that would make too much sense. We'll great, we'll, we'll grab the sugar cane because just because it looks good. It's a nice little, uh, nice little intro to any area. Um, but yeah, let me run around and just click on some grass blocks. It looks like we're out of the flower forest, so this should go a lot quicker. As soon as they say I'm gonna cut, it's like it, it starts getting better. So there are a ton of cows around here, so I may do a little bit of a cow farm too. Who's to say? Not me, even though I'm the one making the video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this episode. I thought it'd be really exciting, because when I was watching Let's Plays, sometimes it got a little boring if you're in the same area. And, like, please do share your thoughts in the comments, because I do see every single comment. So if you say something, don't think you're going to waste the effort in writing it, and it's never going to get seen uh, by anyone. Well, it'll actually get seen by me, the person making the video. So I try to separate myself like that. And I know I say that in every video, but there's always new people watching. So for those of you who do know this... Um, Thank you for being loyal viewers, but there's also a bunch of new people here. You know, a lot of people are stuck in quarantine right now. They need content to watch. So you know what? You give them a movie, and then they can watch that. Um, okay, so I think this is enough seeds at least to start this. I, I had a vision in my head of like a big wheat farm, but I, I, I don't think I want to gather too many seeds on camera. It's just not a very fun experience for anyone involved. Um, but you guys remember where I put that wood? Um, I'm going to surround that lake with seeds, but then I'm going to put like a layer of wood around it. So it's not the most efficient, but again, it's Minecraft. We're supposed to make it look good. Um, so it should look interesting. I don't know. G good is subjective. You know, you say something looks good. Um, you know, like some people like the way a Prius looks. Some people think a Prius looks weird. Like me, I think it looks, I think it looks good in a weird way, but I would never own one. You know, it's like one of those deals. Except we're talking about Minecraft, not talking about cars, dude. But I am into cars. If you watch the live streams, you get to learn a little bit more about me. I'm sorry there hasn't been any live streams. It's just been a weird time. Like, I mean, everyone can admit that. It's just been weird. Like, we're just stuck here at home. 
but maybe it'd be a good idea. So where is the, where's the part where, our, where's the place where our base is? I'm confused now. Oh, okay, it's over here. Um, so let's see, can we get onto this flat area on top of this? I think we can. So this is like the thing that's hanging over our base. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure why this is the way it is, but it is the way it is, which is interesting. So maybe we should have built the base up here. Nah, it's, it's, it's fine right where it is. And plus, look. We we can fall into the water. Um, so yeah, like I said, where I want to put all these seeds is like right around here. And then I'm going to surround it with some more. Um, I need some dirt. Uh, but we'll surround it with some more uh, oak wood. It'll look really cool, trust me. Which you don't have to trust me, just watch. And maybe a solid line. Like a complete outline, not just diagonal. Yeah, I think that would be better. Okay, so now let me get some dirt because we need to fix this. We need to fix this pronto. Not pronto, it's not that big of a deal. But we do need to fix that with some dirt, which we have a little bit of. We have a bunch of double chests back at the OG base, but I mean, I really hope we don't get a super tall tree in there. I think there's even a way to limit how tall the trees get. Um, We'll just fill this in with dirt and then... We'll recreate this area right here. We'll just break these. It's funny because when you want it to break, sometimes you'll land on it and it won't break. And you're like, come on, man. Come on. There we go. Okay, so then we can surround that area right there. Okay. There's no water there, though. That's the problem. Okay, so maybe see like a little area like this. That just looks weird. So we'll just till this spot. And then we'll fill all this in with normal dirt and then hop on it. If we can. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, we're on a roll. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then we can fill in a little bit of this area. It's mainly the sand that I wanted to change because it does not need to be, just doesn't need to be there anymore. Um, and then like these blocks right here, I want to till these too. Okay, so let's just fill in all that sand. We don't need any of it. Um, and then I'll fill in a little bit of this lake. I don't want to fill in a ton. I still want it to feel like a natural shape, but I want to remove a little bit. Um, that way we can continue the same pattern. Okay, boom, 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 boom. And then comes the fun part. Now we get to place all these planks around it, which I'm not going to do. But what I'm going to essentially do is do an outline like this uh, with these wooden planks, but all the way around it. I'm scared to use my shovel because if I click and it breaks too fast, it just kind of, I don't know, it just kind of ruins the whole... Ugh. See, it's kind of a pain, but let me do that off camera. Okay, so I broke all the area around. I hear a bee, too. I swear to God, I heard a bee. I do not see a bee, but I dug out all the area where the planks go, so it'll actually go really quick. I said I'd do it off camera. I say I do a lot of things off camera, and then I, and I'm like, and I just come back at the wrong time. You guys are probably like, what? A lot of you get annoyed, and I'm sorry, but that was something that I can take that long. Um, so I mainly am just growing this for a few cows. We don't really need these seeds. Um at all but it's okay again we're just trying to build a nice looking area it doesn't necessarily have to be exclusively ultra useful in every respect um can make it look neat like that i never really grow sugarcane like that because it's kind of a pain to harvest but hey it looks good in my opinion maybe not in yours okay cool so we got a nice little farm area for now a basic one again this is just such a little tiny outpost I may not go with like a huge base off the bat because I don't know if I could even finish one but let me sleep I'll meet you guys in the morning ah another beautiful day in a fresh fresh land so did I ever get more wood no this is all the wood I have okay um, well that's okay because I need a lot I need a lot of planks too again we have those trees growing um, they'll grow pretty quickly it's just if one oh god Ugh. well Speaking of the devil, look, I talked about the other growing, and we just get a fat tree here. So we'll let him just keep growing a little bit. We, I think we have some bones in here, actually, because we killed a skeleton with looting. How many bones did it give us? Three? Maybe we should go skeleton hunting tonight. Because um, you can also bone meal grow them, but the problem is, is sometimes if there's certain kinds of trees, they won't grow. See, like, that tree grew, but then this one... Oh, it grew two with one! Heck yeah! So we'll mine that in a bit when we need more wood. Um, but yeah, so I was planning on doing like, um, probably like, I see, but I don't know how big that is. It's actually way bigger than I thought. Hold on. Mm, maybe little towers like this. 
that would be better so i want these to be like the the i keep keep remembering they're called turrets no the things that stick up on a castle you know they're a little bit taller than the rest not a lot taller but just a little bit and i want to build like an actual castle because usually when i build castles um i realize eventually that they're not actually a castle it's more of like a a fortress type deal because of the shape of it i guess so like there's a very specific shape when it comes to castles and it's not what you'd think it's not a square it's actually like a you know it like surrounds an area of land so i want to build for once a proper castle uh, but as you can see our wood is quickly diminishing i'm not sure how long and how how big of a castle i can realistically make in this area um, but you know what we can try to make a pretty cool looking one um I'm just trying to make this as non as non conforming as possible because I'm trying to go the opposite of a square. But I've never done this before. I'm just envisioning it in my head. And then we'll see how it turns out. It should look pretty cool like on a thumbnail too. Like when you look at this, you see this. I guess you'll get to... Ah, oh, see, but then that kind of spoils it, I guess. No, because... I See, I, here's the thing with thumbnails in me. I feel like it doesn't spoil the base at all. Because you still have to watch me do it. Like, like you get to see what it ends up like. Um, but, you know, the process of getting there is the fun part. It's not like the... It's not building. Building this is fun, too. Or, building this is the fun part. Not like the finished product. You don't really have fun once you finish. Except you get to live in it. So, let me gather this massive hunk of oak wood. And I'll report back how much we had. Because, remember, we started with zero. Because we just placed it all. Okay, so surprisingly, I actually got all of the big tree this time um, off the bat, which usually never happens. I usually have to spend a while like breaking it to get all the little tiny pieces of wood out. I wish those trees didn't exist. I like the way they look, though. They do look good when they grow really, really big. Um, but it's it, everyone agrees it is kind of a pain in the butt to remove all this stuff. Um, but yeah, I think... Hmm. I'm thinking for this planter, since you can't really get up on it immediately, what I'm going to do is add maybe some slabs of some kind. Um, probably just cobblestone. Again, like I'm trying to go for like that alpha-themed build, if that makes any amount of sense. I know a lot of you may have not played like, like the beta, like the very beginning versions of Minecraft. Um, I think there was slabs, you know, there's like cobblestone slabs, there's only basic materials. Uh, but actually, I like the way this planter looks now. We'll, we'll just leave it like that. Uh, maybe in the corners... Maybe in the corners. Hold on. Let me see. Do we have some slabs? Yes, we still have a few. Uh, maybe in the corners we'll do something like this. This may look good. And plus it gives us a way to walk up onto it. Because I'm just thinking like right now there's no way to really walk up onto it. Um, maybe. It, it, if anything, it just makes it look a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. So a nice little planter has been established. So we got a little bit of wood. Not as much as I was f foreseeing in my head. Uh, but that's okay. We don't. It's it's not like these trees won't grow back. That's the beautiful the beautiful part about this. Okay, so we have a, a three of these things built, and what I'm trying to do here is like enclose this area um, off from like the outside, so it's gonna back up to this to this area right here. I'll, I'll explain it. You, I don't even need to explain it. You'll just see in a bit. But I need to clear out some of these trees and flowers. Uh, maybe not the flowers, but at least the trees, because we need to build the wall back over here. So I did not foresee a cave being here. Um, kind of throws a wrench into things, uh, but it's okay. We can always work around these little... Oh, wow. Okay, there's a big tree here. Yeah, that's a very, very big tree. Okay. All right. There's gravel right here, so I think you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not minding that. I actually probably should. Ooh, yes. I need some bones, actually. Four bones? That's actually really good from one skeleton. You never get, like, four bones like that. Okay, well, let's go over here. Oh, let's go over here. Let's just plant these. I think what I'm going to do is just... We'll just grow, like, one. Oh, my God. Okay, two grew at the same time. That was weird. Um, so, you can grow this one. Grow this one. And you can see they grow together. Like, they don't care about growing, like, right next to each other. It's just weird, okay? And I'm pretty sure you could put a roof on top of there to limit how high they grow as well. Um, okay, so I didn't think about how to do this area. <laughs> I really didn't. I just kind of started building with these, building this big wall. Um, but I never stopped to consider what I'm going to do with it. So, hmm. 
I didn't get the flint and steel either. I, I, I think I'm just going to break it by hand. I don't really think there's a point because we're just going to lose the wood versus getting it. So let me fix that tree. So I think this may have been a good spot for like a tree house because this thing is huge. I still have not broken it all. I'm trying to find the last like few pe- Ow. The last few pieces, but they seem to be eluding me. I've had to build up twice now. Uh, I think these are the last two, maybe. And you just never know with these things, so we'll just wait. And if it still is floating there after we're done with the castle, we'll remove it. But I think we should be good for now. Um, so again, as far as this goes, I'm not sure where to put the wall. I'm trying to break some of these flowers, though, in preparation of building said wall. Um, but this is like part of the castle wall, right? Okay, so maybe like right here, and then we'll build another one of these towers. So I don't even know how high I've been building these, but I think somewhere around the height that we've been doing them is fine. Like this. Something like that. I think these are all the same height. We ran out over here. I forgot. Let's fix this real quick. Remedy it up. Look. Good. Okay. And then we'll build this wall over here. So, I think these are going on the inside. Yeah. Okay. So, it's interesting, right? Because I've every time I build a castle, I always end up building a square. Um, so, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Again, there's a hole right there. So, I don't really know how that affects us. Uh, but, you know what we'll do? Uh, we'll build a... We'll build the wall inwards like this, and we'll just not include that. And then we'll put another watchtower right here. So on the inside, okay. Perfect. It is a good spot for one though, right on the edge. You know where you where you're gonna need to look most. Okay, so yeah, it did look, it does look like we got all of that tree. Thank God. Those things are just such a pain to to break. I think we can all agree. Um. I don't know how high these things are supposed to be. I keep building them, but I think I'm building them the same height. They all look the same height to me. Yeah, okay. And then this just needs to go into the wall, pretty much. I mean, there's not a whole lot else we can really do, um, except literally just make it go into the wall right here. And we'll break some of this. Okay. Let's sleep because I don't want to die when we wake up. That's not a good thing. I just don't want, I don't want mobs to be spawned around here. I'm always so nervous about that. Okay, so we have this whole area made of finally, kind of. Um, so maybe we'll continue the movie um, like tomorrow. I see, I keep calling it a movie, but really it's just build. I, this episode's a movie because of its length, but I'm going to keep expanding on this area. It's not like this is the end. Um, but I've decided what I'm going to do. I don't know how to encase this area right here. It's tricky because this doesn't really back up to a wall. So maybe we'll just bring this part of the wall like over to right here, okay, or something like that. And we'll pretend that this is like the outside of the base. We just have to eliminate any trees that are in the way or something like that. Um, so I, again, I don't really know. We'll, we'll, we have time to figure it out though. That That's my point. It's not a big deal if it's not totally figured out at this point. Um, so now I actually build the wall, I think I'm just going to go two blocks higher. I just want to make sure that these towers are high enough to where they don't. Um, they don't look off. So what I'm going to do is probably make them a little bit taller. Um, but this is where all of our wood's going to go, is into this wall. At least the planks. So I know that I'm going to use that. So we'll make it already. Okay. Continuing over here. So this does look pretty cool. Um, it looks like, you know, somewhat of a... It, again, I was trying to go for like a fortress feel. I don't know if anyone's kind of understanding the vibe I'm going for here. Uh, but it's like an old school alpha fortress. Because I used to build these all the time. Um, but not like this. I always built a square. <laughs> so I wanted to expand, you know, how I'm doing things, expand my horizons and try some new horizons, you know, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm watching Lauren play that. It's sad because you know, she, she's playing on my Switch and I had no idea that we couldn't make two worlds. It's not, it's not sad or anything. Um, I just wish I could have started a world, but I could buy another Switch, I guess, and start another world, but... I don't want to buy a $300 console just to play a $60 game that I have to, I have to buy the game again too. But I don't know. It's just kind of pointless. It's weird, though. I thought that that was something that they would have changed from the last time, you know, like I played on the DS, like, ages ago. But no, it's that's still the policy. One player, one console per player, or something like that. Okay, one world per console, sorry. So I'm going to build all these one block higher, um, partially because we're running out of wood, and also just because I don't see the point in making them taller than that. Um... 
Oh, okay. And then we're not done, obviously. I need to grab some cobblestone. That's one thing I need. Um, we'll just break this. A little temporary. So it requires eight for each. So yeah, we have more than enough. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. That was satisfying. When I play stuff like that and it's so like perfectly timed and it just works out, it's like the most sad. Oh no, we don't. No, it doesn't. It takes eight per. Okay, well let's grab some of the wood we have. Luckily we have no big trees, but if you go in here, look at this. It's just like solid logs. I mean, there's some places in here that haven't grown yet, but guys, even those inside ones eventually grow. It may take a little bit longer, but I, I really don't understand it. Like, you can see how these have all grown. Like, look, we used bone meal on a little bit, but we didn't do all three of these. But look, it's like a straight, just giant trunk of wood. So you can, this is a really great way. If you guys want to get wood quickly, don't ask me why it works, but it does. But I'm really proud of this planter. I think it's pretty nice. I never really build planters for trees. Uh, like, when I normally grow trees and uh, break them, I just kind of put them, you know, on the ground. Like, they're normally supposed to go. But then I did it with these those spruce trees in the original world, and I was like, that's pretty cool. Um, I guess I had, no, I actually have, I have a tutorial from years and years ago. It was a birch tree farm, or any kind of tree farm. And it was just like a grid of dirt placed <laughs> or something, and I, and I was making it seem like it was some intense, <laughs> I don't even know. So this wall is almost a little bit pointless, because it doesn't do anything, um, I don't know, hold on. We're going to have to figure this out, but let me build up this. So one, two, one, two, one, two. So I'm building it two blocks higher than it was. Okay. So this needs to be two, 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 and then this has to be two. Or something like that. No, see, the, see the, those ones are too high, but it's okay. There we go. So again, the wall keeps us out. It keeps everything out there. So we'll pretend the evil is over there. Or something like that. Okay, so this is where the leaves come into play. Um, but I also need some more cobblestone. So what I'm going to do... I mean, I don't see the point in making like some hole underground. I'm just going to dig out this pattern um, a good bit back. So give me a bit. Okay, so I think that's more than enough cobblestone. Um, I don't I, I don't think we're gonna need that that much um, So again this this base is not gonna be like the prettiest base you've ever seen. I cannot express that enough It's not supposed to be some Really fancy looking base, but it is gonna look cool in a way I think so I'm gonna try out a few wall designs here. I actually need to grab something before I do this We need some leaves. Where are the leaves? They are hidden away somewhere In here Yes. Okay, so let's put up some, some stuff. Uh, what can I put up? I don't need flint on me. I don't need sand. I don't need andesite. Okay, that's okay. Alright, let's head over here. Let's see what we can do. Um, because I'm pretty sure that one of these designs in my head is going to work. If it doesn't, it's okay. Um, but I'll build a few of the designs in my head and then we'll see how they look. Because I want to make it congruent from the inside and the outside. And I just want to make sure this looks good. Boom, boom. But I guess it can't be an alpha themed base, you know, if you have leaves on it, because you couldn't gather leaves. Uh, but this is here so spiders can't crawl up it. Um, and then when you look at that wall, it still looks pretty good, I think at least. Okay, nice. Um, so I need to gather obviously a lot more leaves than I have currently. We do not have near enough to complete this. Um, and I, because I want to do this leaf pattern on the inside and outside of the walls. So that makes this require a lot more than you would think. So what I'm going to do between now and when you see me next is I'm going to make like five shears and I'm just going to go ham on some trees. Um, I wish, oh, they, those are pretty grown. Okay, so we can get some leaves right there as well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this thing so far. Again, what I, what I was trying to say is I'm going to be putting leaves on the inside as well. Um, just like that. I don't know. I mean, it's it's interesting, right? It's not like the coolest, best build you've ever seen, but it's probably one of the more unique ones, and that's what I'm trying to go for. If I was going for a modern aesthetic, we'd go for mod. Oh, we might actually have enough to finish the inside of the leaves, which isn't, you know, the whole thing or by any means, but at least we have enough to finish this. The inside portion. 
Okay, so we do. Nice. And then we just got to top it with slabs and then finish the outside. So let me get some shears, let me get some leaves, and I will meet you guys back in just a little bit. So we can get like, I don't know, like three pairs of shears and then just go ham on some leaves. I just need to clean up my inventory, so give me a bit. Okay, so I maybe figured this is somewhat satisfying to watch. So you see how we have this big wad of trees? So if we walk right next to uh, all of the, the logs like this, which I guess we walked up the edge, we can actually get these leaves pretty effectively and efficiently. You just if, if you do it like this, I guess there's a big tree in there somewhere, but these trees are going to look real weird. We'll leave the oak wood here, so hopefully it makes these trees grow a little bit faster too. Maybe that's what we should do is kind of periodically shave the trees um, like this. Um, we can leave the little tops and whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to go for every leaf, but do you see what I mean? Because now see how the trees are growing easier? I guess because there's nothing above them. It makes their job a little easier or something. I have no idea. Uh, but either way, it's a two birds of one stone type deal. We get more wood faster and we also get all the leaves we need. Because I don't think we need any more after this. Um, oh, it should be good. And then these are the new leaves. We'll break those too. Give me all your leaves. Yes, we have more than enough. So this thing has turned out way more useful than I thought it would. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, I want to light up the inside of the castle next. I just have not decided in what fashion I'm going to do that. Because I don't have a whole ton of iron to make lanterns. Nor do I have a whole ton of coal. So maybe next episode we will... Uh, well, we will continue it next episode. But next episode maybe I'll go and actually get some resources. Because we're building this you know, out of stuff we can just gather from the forest and whatnot. Um, but there's a point where we won't be able to get um, any more done because we don't have any more resources uh, but hopefully this feel this feels more like it's fitting the theme um which is you know that's that's what i was going for is like a themed build not necessarily an aesthetic one but at least one that has somewhat of a theme that is kept throughout it um so very basic right i mean you could see this staircase could be a million times better um i know it could be uh, but it's not you know it's just like the, the most basic version of what you could build and then, look, you can put some torches on it. So now, you can get up to the wall. Um, so I wanted to get on the wall because I want to finish putting all the slabs down. So we'll do the outside leaves in just a moment. But let me put all the slabs on top first. So since these, since this material um, is being used on the walls, I don't know if I want to make a staircase out of it. Um, so that's why I gather a little bit of birch wood because there's going to be some parts that I'm going to want to, you know, interchange materials on and not use the same sort of theme. But like this is like the most basic theme, right? Cobblestone, oak wood, um, cobblestone, and oak wood, basically. That's what all of my survival builds were because, you know, it's like everyone always has access to oak trees. Um, unless you're, you know, like me and you live in a spruce biome, um, in which case you can still find them occasionally, although they're a little bit more rare. Okay, so let's let's do something off the bat. Let's clear out this area. We make it a bit of coal too, which would not hurt us. And plus, we don't want this because this is like in our base. We don't want stuff spawning up here. We don't want it because <laughs> if it spawns in here, it kind of defeats the purpose of the whole wall. If you have like a mob spawner basically behind you. So thankfully, when we need to get coal or anything that drops multiples, it's really quick. Cause like this one vein, we had no coal in our inventory. Let's see how much it gives us. But I get, I bet it gives us just a ton. Cause we really don't need. Uh, yeah, look, it gave us over a stack. Okay, so at least we don't have to worry about coal anymore. I was a little bit worried. I was like, man, I don't really want to mine out here, but I don't think I need to. Um, but at the same time, it's nice because I, when I mine, it's not like I already have all the resources, and it makes it super easy. Again, I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm done with this Let's Play world. I'm just saying for now, I'm moving over here. Oh, I thought I ran out of leaves. I was like, no way, dude. We got like five or six stacks. So this is the flowers are going to be going on the outside too. Keep that. Keep in mind, I want to have a bunch of double tall, dual, double, double t tall flowers. I don't know how to say it. Uh, we also need somewhat of an entrance into our base. So I think like right here would be a good spot. I know this is where our staircase is, but we can deal. We can move it. Um, Because I realize now we have no entrance. Not even a semblance of an entrance. So we need to get that done before we do any anything else in here. Uh, we can do it like right here. I can actually make it look pretty cool. Oh, all right. Leaves break. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, and then because this is an entrance, it can go over here. It's not it's not that big of a deal. I just need to figure out how I'm going to mold the entrance in. Maybe like this. And then have, have like another one right here. Go on top. And then maybe this right here should be as well. Okay, so something like that. And then, of course, we continue that same pattern. And then we could throw our leaves back, potentially. Really not sure. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, it's just going to be like a basic entrance. I think we're gonna, just going to have some doors. So let's make a few crafting tables. Because I feel like I feel like that's something, you know, you should have, you know, just, just somewhere along your wall, you know, everywhere you are in the build. Uh, just in case you ever need to add anything. So we'll just put some random crafting tables. Uh, we'll put one, like, over here. We'll, of course, put a couple over here. But this just eases things up, you know, because sometimes you're not carrying around wood, but you really need to make, like, a simple crafting recipe, and it kind of sucks if you can't. Um, so that way, anywhere we are in this build, look, craft table. Um, and then maybe we should fancy them up a little bit. Kind of unnecessary, but hey, it, it, it works. Uh, every little thing you do will make your world that much better. And then these ones, you only have to cover the parts that are showing. I'll build some sort of wall like over here encasing that in, in, in the next uh, the next episode of the Let's Play because right now there's no point. Um, I'm getting kind of not burned out of recording, but I can tell when I'm starting to fade, I guess. I don't know the word for it. It's not like a fade, but it's like after you've been talking, and I noticed it on the live streams too, but after you've been talking for a certain amount of time, there's a point where your brain just cannot handle much more. Um, and I don't really know why that is, but it seems to happen occasionally. It's not a bad thing. I'll be able to record tomorrow again. I didn't do all the episodes in one night since, you know, I have so much extra time with this quarantine. So that's that's a very good thing. Uh, a positive thing for you guys. You, you get a lot more content. Okay, so that's just weirding me out. That's irking me out. We're going to... Actually, you know what? That's not irking me out. We can just put a trap door on it. Okay. So, like I was saying, I, the reason I built even one of these was to make some doors, but then I never even built the doors. So, I'm going to make a bunch of doors. And I want to make this as, the best that I can, but I'm not sure how to go about it exactly. Um, so, we'll see. I want definitely cobblestone on the entrance. And then maybe like, maybe like a door right here, a door right here. And then we have two oak pillars going upwards. And then right in the middle... We have some leaves going down. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe the leaves right here are too much. Yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. And we'll just... We'll, 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 we'll put these leaves back. That way it just looks... You know, it, it, we, we could do... You know, technically it's more secure. You know, you could do a door like this as well. Um, that way, you know, when you're running in here, you just go boop, boop. You open the doors, you walk in, and you close them. Maybe not, though. I don't know. There's just little things like that that we can change, too. It's not like it has to be set in stone. I realize now that this should just be... Oh, that's so slow. That should just be broken. We should just put it like that. Okay, so we need to figure out the tops of these. So this one is... See, that, see, that one's one shorter than like that one right there. So I need to make sure they're all the same height before I do anything on them because I don't want to like, I don't know, I don't want to add a bunch of details to one, but I'm not trying to do like a bunch of details or anything. Again, I'm trying to make this pretty simple, um, but I don't, I don't know what to put on the tops of those yet. I genuinely don't. Something though in the future. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, this extra long little movie or whatever I'm calling it. Um, there will be more episodes in this world, or not this world, this isn't a new world, in this area of the world very soon aka tomorrow uh, but thank you for watching the secret code so if you watch this entire thing is going to be five eight two six so put that down in the comments fifty eight twenty six to show me that you watched the entire thing and uh, i will be very appreciative um, but yeah i hope everyone has a wonderful saturday thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow bye